one, um, we are making uh, decoupage Christmas baubles just because why not? Um, I had this paper which I'd bought a while ago, which is really just wrapping paper. Um, I'd bought from one of our other studios, they had them on sale there a while ago, and I was kind of looking for something to do. Um, so, what we're really going to be doing is just making a little rough wriggledy piggledy kind of um, Christmas bauble that just looks like a bit like a paper mache ball almost. Um, we're going to glue it on and um, and just see how it goes. This is just a bauble um, that I got from the craft store. You can see it's quite a big one and then I used a piece of um, wrapping paper so there's just like a quarter. You can see it's quite big compared to my hand but it's it's really as much um, a technical challenge as you want it to be. I like to keep it a little bit rough and um, I just kind of glue as I go and fold in creases and you'll just see me do this and I get very messy full of glue. Um, so don't worry, just make it as fun as you want. If you want it to be really technical, then um, you know you could measure out strips and you could make strips going down, um, but I'm going to roll and fold. So all I've, I've done with um, my piece of paper is I've taken the scissors and I've um, really put a little tiny piece of cello tape onto the corner just so that when I wrapped my bauble into the ball, I could um, kind of see how to cut um, the pieces. So all I did is I went with scissors, made sure I didn't cut the string on the inside and then um, cut strips down so that just so that it makes it easier for me to fold them down. Then I also have um, just an old little paintbrush that I use to glue stuff as well as um, a PVA uh, glue, which is just white gloopy glue that I put here. I just find that it's a craft glue that, that works um, and is quick and easy to use. I also just have this pen nearby because when I'm done and I need to dry the bauble, I hang it between two, um, two even areas just so that they can dry equally. You can just hold it for a while, but we'll get into how to dry that a little bit later. Um, great, so I'm going to start and I'm going to show you just how messy it gets. We're going to uh, take this bauble, I'm going to leave it attached to um, this little piece of paper, it doesn't really matter. Um, but that way I kind of know that I, I want to stick to it. I take a bit of glue and I'm really going to just first go onto the bauble itself because I want to make it tacky with glue and what I mean by tacky is that it's just to give it um, a couple of seconds as I'm busy getting around the ball to make this glue a little bit sticky so it's going to dry almost immediately as I do it. Depends on how strong the PVA glue is. This one um, tends to, to kind of harden up quite quickly, um, which means, uh, not harden, but it goes, it gets a bit, um, like I said, tacky, just a little bit sticky. You can get it on your fingers, it's not going to kill you, it just washes off with water. It's um, it's a really safe uh, glue to work with, and I'm just going to go all over the ball. It's going to get all over my fingers, but I'm okay with that. Um, if you don't like that, and you don't want to get glue on yourself, then you could just use a pair of rubber gloves. Um, and, and do that. I'm just going to go all over, just make sure that I've got all areas covered. Um, and then that is this. So you can see I'm going to go quite quickly across this paper. Because it's a wrapping paper and it's quite soft, you're going to see that this is going to start curling within a couple of seconds of me um, painting over it. Again, work on a surface that um, that is okay to get some glue on. Um, and then there we go. You can see it's starting to curl and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set aside my brush and you're going to see me start to just use my fingers to push this paper down and um, it, you know it's going to be nice and messy and there's going to be little creases in it which is fine um, I don't mind that I'm just really trying to paste it down and then these pieces are going to start to come down and across and over the surface let's go there um, let's really just pull and see how it goes, but I'm not going to forget that there's also some more that needs to be glued here, so I'm going to come back with my little brush, and I'm doing this just to keep things going. I find that if I did the whole piece at one time, by the time I get the paper over, um, it's already kind of curled the paper so much, and it's gotten very sticky very quickly, um, so then I've, it's a little bit more difficult to manage. 
it might look confusing, but it's not really. All I'm doing is kind of staying away from uh, making sure I don't want my string to get caught up in the paper. Um, and it might look like there's gaps, but you'll see as we wrap things around that paper's going to cross over certain sections again, and it's going to be fine. And it might feel a bit like there's um, a lot of layers. And like there, if it is coming into where you need it to be, then just take a scissors. It might get a bit of glue off, uh, glue onto the scissors, but it will come off. So you can either cut a section off of it, or you can just, you know, move it around the area that you're trying to avoid going through. Equally, that can go through the middle of the string, it's fine. Um, so we're going to pull that back, and we're going to do this and this, we're just going to push some pieces down, and you can see this is starting to at least get around the surface. You can see here where I painted earlier is actually getting a bit tacky, like I said, tacky is the word I use, but I'm sure there's just a word is actually sticky. And here, this glue that I glued a little a few minutes earlier is already almost kind of drying, um, so I'm going to go over that. And I'm going to start pulling that across there as close as I can to the, the bit so that I can start covering up um, the pieces that I haven't covered yet. And even though that's got a bit of glue, I can now fold that over. And again, it's covering a nice section that I needed covered. And this is probably better to get this a bit folded. If you saw there, it kind of tore. So I just want to make sure that I handle it a bit more softly. There, that's that's had glue on it. I'm just going to reapply the glue just so that it can stick down again. Um, I'm going to push it down. I'm pushing all of these pieces down as I go. If it is that it's stopping, um, stop having glue underneath, then you can just basically, you can see how messy my, my, <laughs> my glue um, brush is, but that's also okay. I'm just going to push things down and I'm going to try and just mold it a bit. I mean, what happens is with um, decoupaging anyway, in general, it depends, like I said, how technical you want something to look. But with this one, it's just nice to give it a go and see how much fun you can have with it. Get messy, be a kid. This is what we loved doing in art classes when we were small. So um, enjoy the experience of getting glue everywhere. Um, like I said, this washes off, so you can use a, a cloth or anything to get it off of the surface. You can get it off of your hands with a bit of water. And once it dries, it's not going to be white anymore, is it? Exactly, yeah. So, well, you'll see when I get to the next couple of steps, I'm going to start looking at covering um, the the whole of the bauble with a, almost like a lacquer. It becomes a lacquer coat. You see there, I'm trying not to get into this section. I don't really want this to cover my string. I'm trying not to cut my string either. So I'm just going to cut this off here. It's a little bit more difficult with the glue and all the layers, but I'm getting there. Yep. It keeps that down keeps that covered. You see I tore that little bit there so I'm actually going to use that to cover it up which is nice. It gets tightly across the side. This is already drying <laughs> now that I've taken too long with it so I'm just going to go over this section again and I'm pulling that across. Oh no, I want to cover that still. Just do that and you're just using your fingers to press things down and to, to bring them through. If anything looks like you're like, oh, that's a bit bumpy, you can always go over it. The What you want to do before you end up lacquering the outside of this is to try and push things down before it gets sticky because what you're going to find is that because your fingers have glue on them as well as the pieces that are on the bauble, you might um, end up pulling off a picture, a part of the picture because your your fingers essentially become a bit like sellotape where they strip off a piece of um, the decoration. So just work your way through. If that does happen, just find another piece here to cover it up with. No one's going to know. It already looks patchy anyway, um, in a good way, I think. Um, it's a bit of fun to just do that. You'll see sometimes even here, like that bit, because I've made it worse, it started to tear because obviously it had a cut in it. So I'm just going to hide that in my, my bit of decoration as I bring it around. So here I'm starting to cover up the last section of my bauble, my brown bauble, pulling that in. You can't even see the bit that tore because the piece of um, paper folded over on itself. You can make tight creases or if you want to keep a particular picture on the, um, that you like. This one's just a repetitive print so it doesn't matter too much. Let's go here. If 
I should remind his hair together. So if you had a particular picture that you wanted on there, would you do that last and fold everything over before that? Yeah, you could do, or you can even cut out the particular picture and have this as your background yeah. and then just have the picture. So so like where this will be more difficult and you'd ha probably have to be more technical with it is, let's say you had, I don't know, a, a stripe pattern running Obviously, doing something like this is not going to make a stripe pattern. It's not going to do favors for a stripe pattern because you're not going to be able to be, um, you know, kind of technical or it's not going to look, you know, like striped lines all the way around. It's not going to be even or symmetrical. So you just really need to figure out what, what it is that you want to achieve with with your, your picture. In this case, I don't mind that you can see some faces and not others. Um, you know, I can have a section where I can see some of them. Um, yeah, really make it your own. Make it as technical as you like. This is just supposed to be a little bit of fun. Now, my fingers are getting sticky, and obviously the paper's got a bit of stickiness. I'm just going to try and avoid using my fingertips right now because my fingertips are a hazard on this. It's going to pull off the paint. So I'm just going to uh, push down any creases that came up. And then what I'm going to do is take the brush with the... Um, a bit of the glue again and I'm going to lacquer it so that it, it kind of seals all these edges down and give us, gives them a final press. So uh, here we go. It's really just, if you can get a thin layer, do that, but you're going to see that some of the areas are going to pick up thicker bits because of the, um, you know, the creases in the, the paper, which is also fine. Just try your best to, to do what you can to, to get around them. Got so much glue everywhere here. Um, go as far as you can without lifting your fingers. That just makes it easier, so you don't have to touch everything all over again. And we're going to roll that again. I'm just going to go to the top of it, so I don't have to touch too much of it. I really want to leave my fingerprints on it, but oh no, <laughs> it's come out. It's completely come out. Okay, we're going to have to reattach this, but let's just look at the bauble bit here first. We'll just get the painting done. Probably got too wet. Maybe the string came out of the whole unit, so it's not really the, yeah. the system that got wet. I'm going to fix that with wire later. Yeah, I'll just have to push it back in, which is fine. Or maybe use a paper clip just to secure the string back into the middle of the ball, because the ball was bought, so there's not a lot I can do. I didn't assemble it. It's not my craftsmanship. So, everything here now has this lacquer around it. So you've got a couple of options, which is... You can either um, hold it by the string, obviously if the string did not come out, you would hold it by the string in this way, which is just between your hands, keep it dry, or you can keep it on a string and then you're going to put each end on a glass and separate them so that you have just time to dry in that way. If you're drying it in this way, I would say it's probably going to take about 15-20 minutes to dry on its own. And you can see it's got a nice little shine from the lacquer. It looks you know, nice and homemade. I think that's quite quirky about it. I like it. Um, they, there's still a little bit of glue here that's drying, but that's going to dry in a couple of seconds. I'm pretty sure that's going to be dry quite soon because even when I before, when I showed this at the beginning of the video, there were um, more little areas. So it's definitely going to dry. Try not to get impatient with it and, and try not to touch it if you can. It will dry. It will look good and there's nothing really to worry about it. Um, if you want it to go faster, you can put it in front of a hairdryer and just let it um, roll around in front of the hairdryer for five minutes, but on a cool setting just so that it dries quickly. And again, you know, try not to touch stuff, but if you feel like there's a big piece that's pushing up, then you can try and mold it while it's wet. But um, yeah, if there's anything that needs readjusting, you just put a little bit more of the glue onto it. It will soften the paper again, and then you can generally mold it. So that is how to make a Christmas bauble out of decoupaging. So thanks for watching. Bye.